Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Sometimes the YouTube algorithm gets a little bit messed up and you don't get notified when we drop new videos. So if you are new here, especially make sure you do that now. If you are looking to improve your gymnastics performance within CrossFit, this is what our channel is all about. We do have our generic and tailored programs in the link down below. That is with FITAR. So if you're in the CrossFit community, uh, most of you should be aware of FITAR and other affiliates and programs use FITAR. It's a great app. It's great to keep everything all in one place. So we use FITAR for our clients and our members and make sure you check out our social media we typically use the instagram but all the links and information will be down below in the description box so yeah in this video i just want to cover a few things so on top of our programs it's our black friday deals today uh, we will be keeping that for the next few days so hurry if you really want to invest in your in your gymnastics performance which a lot neglect i would highly recommend that you go and take a look at our programs it's going to be 40 percent off and the code to use for 40 percent off is perfect balance 40 and that's only going to be used for the first month of your subscription so yeah use that discount code perfect balance all in capitals and 4040 all together so yeah in this video i i want to cover the handstand issue again i have covered a video on handstands before but i keep seeing this reoccurrence of coaches programming the handstand walks or people are going to the gym and they're doing their own programs off their own back with little to no coaching and they're trying to get their handstand walks and the first question i always ask is are you able to hold a handstand and they're saying no craig i can't hold a handstand i can't hold a static one but i really really want to do handstand walks because it's a big, big part of you know the crossfit uh programming and typically in class programming it comes up quite a lot and i don't really want to do bear walks and i don't want to scale down so a couple of things even within the, in that there's a bit of an ego thing and we shouldn't really include uh, our ego when we come to the crossfit community and any sort of crossfit or functional fitness class we need to set that aside and work outside like either after or before class we need to work on progressions and skills and then over time we can start to implement into into class workouts our new skills and our new sort of uh yeah our new skills so first of all ego should be put aside secondly what i always say to people is would you try and walk before you stand we all know this we can't walk before we can stand we need to learn a good basis of being upside down for most of us it is a foreign sort of position to be in being upside down for some people it's uh, a confidence issue it's there's all different aspects it can be strength it can be mobility issue there's lots and lots of different aspects and that's why you should really invest in, in coaches you should be speaking to coaches how you can improve on all different skills not just gymnastics but the olympic lifting side the strongman side of crossfit you need a coach you need a coach to, to help guide you with that but in the previous video that i've done on this i have broken down what it is you should be doing where you should be sort of starting off with and doing a progression based sort of uh video but what i'll do is i'll put some uh other clips that i can help you guys out in this video as you can see i'm sat in the car i've just pulled up to the gym so i'm going to do my session and i'll add some some clips into the to the video to help you guys out with that and then the last part of this video i want to discuss where do you think crossfit is going in the near future there has been a ton of changes whether it's been from the media team uh the 
sponsorship now that Noble has taken over from Reebok and things got a little bit messy with, with, with Reebok. The programming's changed, obviously uh, Dave Castro was the games games program programmer and Adrian Bosman took over this season and Adrian implemented a lot of different changes and uh, for me personally obviously this is going to be a little bit biased but he's an ex-gymnast and he, he programmed a lot of the gymnastics uh, movements that were, were new to most of the CrossFit community but were not new to the artistic world so, so if you know me already I have come from the artistic world I grew up doing men's artistic gymnastics and following the, the women's side of the sport as well so things like p-bar walks and dips and lift the handstand or press the handstand if you're from the states uh, doing all those sort of new skills and wall facing handstand push-ups was another one uh, a bit of a, a deficit to some and a struggle to some with all those new skills these are not brand new skills these are skills that from our experience from where i've been from my experience of coaching uh children and elite children this is they would be doing this from they'd be doing those skills from an early age not at a senior age so to the artistic world it's not brand new um, and i've got a lot of respect for some of the crossfit athletes i look up to a lot of the crossfit athletes but there were, mo there were moans and groans with those additions. Um, and aside from the gymnastics, if we're talking about the the games as a whole and then the additions to the games as a whole, I thought it was great to not see a barbell. We've seen a lot of snatch ladders, a lot of clean ladders, a lot of max cleans and max snatches. It was good to see a heavy sandbag. It was good to see more swimming events and it was good to see that balance and variety even though I know in the methodology of CrossFit the, the weightlifting sort of takes priority which in my personal training I, I do enjoy but again I've done another video on this if you don't use your gymnastics and you don't work on your gymnastics you can lose it check that video out in our channel that's another subject and a video in itself but from, from the games point alone uh, from this year and going forwards uh, write in the comments section what you guys see in the in the, the open is next I know there's uh, individual championships and competitions uh, and the season's just started for the 2023 season but the next big one for the CrossFit community as a whole is the is the open so write in the comments what you guys see in the future are there any sort of additional new movements that you could see fitting into the open as a whole in the gym and what you would you would maybe see in a in a national competition such as you know the regionals have been brought back and would you see anything different in regionals or at the games write in the comments what you what you think could be could be implemented and, and changed to sort of balance everything out and test test the community and the games athletes as, as a whole so yeah three subjects today in this video black friday 40 percent off perfect balance 40 uh for 40 percent off your first month of programming you won't regret it we've had tons and tons of testimonial results so check out our instagram in the description box and our store store from, from fitar in the description box for gymnastics programming tips and drills on instagram and uh, like i said i will add uh, some handstand clips in this video uh, I'll edit them in for you guys to help you guys out to hold handstand first standing before you walk not walking before you try and stand um, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing your feedback where do you see CrossFit going forwards in the next three to five years is it going to continue to grow and grow um, yeah I look forward to seeing your feedback that's all for now. I'm going to go and do my training session. I look forward to seeing and hearing from you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Share the video across your community. 
like I say, it, it helps the channel grow as much as possible. And I really appreciate all the help and support from you guys. Any questions that you need, uh, hit me up on Instagram. If you're struggling to do some gymnastics movements, we can talk through going forward some tips. Like I say, all the programs are through the FITAR link down below. Uh, and I'm going to end the video here for now. Enjoy your day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Enjoy your workouts, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.